Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about the characteristics of living organisms. In order to identify living organisms, scientists have listed seven characteristics which all living organisms have. 1. Nutrition. Taking in nutrients which are organic substances and mineral ions, containing raw materials and energy for growth and tissue repair, and absorbing and assimilating them. 2. Excretion. The removal from organisms of toxic materials, the waste products of metabolism and substances in excess. 3. Respiration. Chemical reactions that break down nutrient molecules in living cells to release energy. 4. Sensitivity. The ability to detect or sense changes in the environment and to make responses. 5. Reproduction. Progresses that make more of the same kind of organism. 6. Growth. The permanent increase in size and dry mass by an increase in number of cells, cell size or both. 7. Movement. An action by an organism or a part of an organism that changes position or place. The seven characteristics could be memorised by the term Mrs. Gren. M. Movement. R. Respiration. S. Sensitivity. That's Mrs. G. Growth. R. Reproduction. E. Excretion. N. Nutrition. That's Gren. Mrs. Gren. The binomial system. The binomial system of scientifically naming organisms was developed by Carolus Linnaeus of Sweden. It consists of the organism's genus and species name and thus is called as binomial. It consists of seven levels. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. Now let's take up a simple example. Humans. Kingdom, animal, Phylum, vertebrates, class, mammalia, order, primate, family, hominidae, genus, homo, species, sapiens. The rules for writing scientific names are as follows. The first letter of genus is always capitalised. The first letter of species is never capitalised. Scientific names of organisms are always italicised or underlined. The classification of living organisms. Living organisms can be divided into two parts. Eukaryotes, consisting of protist kingdom, fungi kingdom, plant kingdom and animal kingdom. Or prokaryotes, which contains the bacteria kingdom. Eukaryotes. Protoctista are organisms with a nucleus and many flexible organelles among their species. For example, some have chloroplasts and cell walls like plants, and some like animal cells without these distinguishing characteristics. Their main characteristics include unicellular or multicellular bodies, cells with or without cell wall and chloroplasts, some species are autotrophic, the rest are heterotrophic, and all species have cells with a nucleus. Examples of Protoxita are Paramecium, Chlamydomonas, and seaweed. Fungi are organisms which do not have chlorophyll, thus are heterotrophic and feed on dead organic matter parasitically. The most common known is the edible mushroom. Others include fungi-causing diseases like athlete's foot, ringworm, Panama disease, etc. Their characteristics include multicellular bodies, very few are unicellular, have nuclei, reproduce by spore production, are heterotrophic, don't have chloroplasts, and feed by parasitic or saprothytic means on organic dead matter. Examples include Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Penicillium, and Mushroom. Animals. Thylum arthropoda. Have hard exoskeletons, segmented bodies, jointed appendages, an exoskeleton composed of protein and chitin, a 
an open circulatory system in which heart pumps hemolymph through short arteries into open spaces and sinuses. An aquatic member has gills for gas exchange and terrestrial members have tracheal systems of branched tubes leading from their surface throughout their body. Crustaceans have more than four pairs of jointed legs, breathe through gills, have antennae present and are mostly marine. Examples of crustaceans are crabs and lobsters. Arachnids have four pairs of jointed legs, breathe through gills and book lungs and are mostly terrestrial. Examples of arachnids are scorpions and spiders. Insects have three pairs of jointed legs, have two pairs of wings, breathe through trachea, have antennae present and are mostly terrestrial. Examples of insects are locust, moth, housefly and grasshopper. Myriapods have bodies consisting of many segments. Each segment has jointed legs. They can be both herbivores and carnivores. They are terrestrial. Examples of myripoda are centipede and millipede. Phylum Annelida. They are worms. They have bodies made up of ring-like segments and they live in water and moist soil. An example of an annelid is an earthworm. Phylum Mollusca are soft-bodied animals, have unsegmented bodies, and can be with or without a shell. Examples of mollusks include octopus, jellyfish, and squid. Phylum Nematodes. They are worms. Their bodies are not divided into segments. They are usually white, long, and thin-bodied, and they feed by parasitic means. Examples of nematodes are hookworm and roundworm. Phylum vertebrates. They have an internal skeleton with a spine. Their nervous system has an encephalon or a brain and a spinal cord. And the encephalon is placed inside of the skull and the spinal cord is placed inside of the spine. Class fish. They are cold blooded, have streamlined bodies, are aquatic have scales on their bodies. They may be herbivores or carnivores. They lay eggs in water. They have fins and they breathe through their gills. Examples of fish are mackerel, pomfret, tuna and salmon. Class amphibians. They give birth to offspring by laying eggs. They have four limbs. Their habitat is both terrestrial and aquatic. They have moist skin. They breathe through gills when they are young and when mature, breathe through lungs. And the adult often lives on land. Examples of amphibian are the frog and the salamander. Class reptile. They have scales on their body. They are cold blooded. They are terrestrial. They lay eggs to give birth to their offspring and their eggshells are rubbery. Examples of reptiles are lizard and snake. Class birds. They do not have teeth, but instead have a beak. They have hollow bones, are warm-blooded, lay hard-shelled eggs. Their forelimbs are replaced by wings and they breathe through their lungs. Examples of birds are flamingo, eagle, hawk and sparrow. Class mammals. They are warm-blooded, can maintain a constant body temperature, have different types of teeth, have skin covered by hair, give birth to live young offsprings, have sudoriferous glands, and the females have mammary, milk-secreting glands that produce milk to feed young ones. An example, of course, is the human being. The plant kingdom. Phylum angiosperm have root, stem and leaves, have xylem and phloem, reproduce by seed production, their seeds are produced inside of the ovary of the flower, the phloem transports sugar and the xylem transports water and minerals. Viruses are entirely microscopic, consisting of a single nucleic acid surrounded by a protein coat 
and are capable of replication only within living scales of bacteria, animals or plants. Examples of viruses are the human immunodeficiency virus and tuberculosis. Prokaryotes. Bacteria are prokaryotic and unicellular. They have cell walls and circular DNA called plasmids. They are heterotrophs or autotrophs. Example, L. bulgaricus. That is the end of our guide on the classification of living organisms. Next, we will be discussing cells. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.